Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bill Chen. I'm Nima Kung. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of your part of Ulysses. Ass. Ah. Oh. Ulysses. James Joyce. Chub. Seven six six. His eye running down the typescript. Emperor's horses. Habsburg. An Irishman saved his life on the ramparts of Vienna. Don't you forget. Maximilian Carl O'Donnell. Graf von Tuchonolan Island. Sent his over to make the king an Austrian field marshal now. Going to be trouble there one day. Wild geese. Oh yes. Every time. Don't you forget that. The milk point is, did he forget it? Jay. Jay. Omolo said quietly. Turning a horse should pay for it. Saving princes is a thank you job. Professor Mako turned on him. And if not, he said, I'll tell you how it was. Miles Crawford began. A Hungarian if it was one day. We were always loyal to lost causes. The professor said, Success for us is the death of the intellect and of the imagination. We were never loyal to the successful. We serve them. I teach the blatant Latin language. I speak the tongue of a race that me of whose mentality is the maxim. Time is money. Material domination. Dominus? Lord. Where is the spirituality? Or Jesus? Lord Salisbury. A sofa in a West End club. But the Greek. K Y R I E L E I S O N. A smile of light brightened his dark rimmed eyes. Lengthened his long lips. The Greek. He said again. Karias. Shining word. The vowels the semi and the Saxon know not. Curry. The radiance of the intellect. I ought to profess Greek. The language of the mind. Kyrielason. The clothes maker and the cloak maker will never be lords of our spirit. Of the empire of the spirit. Not an emporium. That went under with the Athenian feats at Aegisbotomy. Is. Is. They went under. Hires. Misled by an oracle. Made a last attempt to retrieve the fortunes of Greece. Oil to a lost cause. He strode away from them towards the window. They went forth to battle. Mr. Middenbrook said greyly that they always fell. But how? Lenehan wept with a little noise. Winterbrick received in the latter half of the matin. Pong. Pong. Poor Paras. He was within near Stephen's ear. Who wears goggles of ebony hue? To wear them, why trouble? I can see the Joe Meyer. Can you? A morning for Celest. Mulligan says. Whose mother is beastly did. Miles Crawford crammed the sheets into a cider pocket. That'll be all right. He said. I'll read the rest after. That'll be all right. Lenehan extended his hands in protest. But my riddle. 
he said. What up where is like a railway line? Up or? Mr. Middenbrook's sphinx face reared. Lenehan announced gladly. The Rose of Castile. See the wees? Rose of Castile. Gee. He poked Mr. Middenbrook mildly in the spleen. Mr. Middenbrook fell back with grace on his umbrella, feigning a gasp. Help. He said. I feel a strong weakness. Then in. Rising to tiptoe. Fend his face rapidly with the rustling tissues. The professor. Returning by way of the files. Swept his hand across Stevens and Mr. Omidon Burke's loose ties. Alright. Pass some present. He said. You look like communards. Like fellows who had blown up the Bastille. Jay. Jay. O'Malley said in quiet mockery. Or was it you shot the Lord Lieutenant of Finland between you? You look as though you had done the deed. General Bobrikov. We were only thinking about it. Stephen said. All the talents. Miles Crawford said. Well. The classics. The turf. Lenehan put in. Literature. The press. If Bloom were here. The professor said. The gentle art of advertisement. And Madame Bloom. The store Madame Burke added. The vocal muse. Dublin's prime favourite. Then a hen gave a loud cough. Ew. He said very softly. Oh. For a fresh of brither. I caught a cold in the park. The gate was open. The editor laid a nervous hen on Stephen's shoulder. I want you to write something for me. He said. Something with a bite in it. You can do it. I see it in your face. In the lexicon of youth. See it in your face. See it in your eye. Lazy-eyed a little schemer. It's what a mouth disease. The editor cried in scornful invective. Great nationalist meeting in Boris and Ossery. All balls. Bullying the public. Give them something with a bite in it. Put us all into it. Damn it, soul. Fala. Send in Holly Ghost and Jakes McCarthy. We can all supply mental pabulum. Mr. Omar and Brooke said. Stephen raised his eyes to the bold, unheeding stare. He wants you for the press gang. Jay. Jay. O'Malley said. You can do it. Miles Crawford repeated. Clenching his hand in emphasis. Wait a minute. We'll paralyze Europe as Ignatius Gallagher used to say when he was on the shrine. Doing Belair at marking in the currents. Fala. That was a pressman for you. That was a pen. You know how he made his mark? I'll tell you. That was the smartest piece of journalism ever known. That was in Itaon. 6th of May. Time of the Invincibles. Murder in the Phoenix Park. Before you were born. I suppose. I'll show you. He pushed past them to the files. Look at here. He said turning. 
the New York World cabled for a special. Remember that time? Professor Mack nodded. New York World. The editor said. Excitedly pushing back his straw hat. Where it took place. Tim Kelly. Or Kavanaugh, I mean. Joe Brady and the rest of them. Whisk and the goat drove the car. Horrot. T. Skin the goat. The store mud and bricks it. The Saris. He has that come and shoot her. They say. To be continued.